Global Forest Watch is an initiative that brings together partners, uh, including Google, Esri, the University of Maryland, United Nations Environment Program, many others um, who are contributing technology, new scientific approaches, and open data that allows us now to monitor where deforestation is happening around the world in near real time. Um, specifically, we're bringing two critical new data sets to the table. Uh, one comes from the University of Maryland that shows us at 30 meter resolution on an annual basis where trees are being lost and where they're regrowing around the world. The other key system is called FORMA, stands for Forest Monitoring for Action. Um, and that's, this is the near real time system. So at a 500 meter resolution, on a monthly basis, we can receive alerts about where forest loss is happening across the tropics. Um, and when you start to overlay this data with additional contextual information about types of forest cover, uh, where concessions are located, where communities are located, then you can start to tell a very interesting story about what's happening to our forests. Um, but in addition to just focusing on the data, um, a important mission for Global Forest Watch is to put this information into the hands of different stakeholders around the world to make it truly very accessible, uh, easy to interact with, easy to draw policy relevant conclusions from. Uh, so the Global Forest Watch website, uh, which is now available, anyone can visit, allows you to interact with the information in a very intuitive way. So if you know how to use Google Maps to find a nearby restaurant, you should be able to navigate on Global Forest Watch pretty easily. Um, and it allows you to conduct analysis of your area of interest, to subscribe to alerts. Uh, so if you want to know when our system is detecting deforestation in your neighborhood, you can receive alerts over email uh, when, when that happens. Um, and also allows you to contribute. So if you want to submit a story, a photo, a video of what you're seeing, happening in forests uh, in your area, you can submit that to the website and it's automatically uploaded onto the map where other users can also see that information, respond and interact as well. Um, so when you pull those two pieces together, both the availability of information and then the wide accessibility of information, I think that this becomes a very important process for bringing different stakeholders together to discuss and hopefully start to reach agreement on what's actually happening in their forests. Um, having very open and transparent access to information I think is an important way to start building trust uh, to get people on the same page. Uh, in, in the past, information has been something that is often tightly controlled by certain groups um, and that can be very disempowering for communities and for civil society organizations who want to understand an issue. but can't access the same data that the, the governments can see or that companies can see. Um, so we're trying to level that information playing field uh, and we think that can be a very helpful starting point whether you're talking about Red Plus programs or land use planning or resource allocation for concessions. Um, so we're just now at the beginning stages of trying to understand how Global Forest Watch can help multiple stakeholders um, participating more effectively in those types of policy processes.